Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And obviously, you can see it behind me. Scorched Earth has just released, which includes the train. Now, the train is a super cool thing. You can see I've got some tracks laid out in front of me. I'll show you everything you need to know about it, what to do, all that kind of stuff in this video, especially if you don't have it. It's it's a really cool really neat addition inside of uh, arc and i'll go ahead and kind of walk you through everything if you don't mind smash that like button leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel all right so let's go ahead and get started so anyways you got track you got trains and then you've got train engines right so those are the three things that you need to know you can actually see them inside of your engrams um, by going into the Bob's Tall Tales and then if you scroll down you can get to level 43 you'll be able to have a train engine train platform car a uh, train platform car and then a train track now there's quite a few cool things i'll walk you through all of it so anyways those are the three items that kind of change around the train engine itself is obviously quite large it has a twenty-five thousand health pool so keep that in mind that's a pretty hefty health pool and then the actual platform cars have fifteen thousand health as well you can climb all over the train and it serves as like a climbable object. Obviously, you can see that I'm on top of it right now. It's a little bit goofy with the actual um, place that you kind of lay on it and kind of sit on it. So that's that's just how it is. Uh, it is a thing that you can actually go up to and drive it by clicking on it. It seems to be something that you can drive for some reason by just hitting E on any part of it, just like you would a tame. And then it kind of teleports you up into the actual engine cockpit. Now, when you are driving this thing, there are some features that you can use. You can go forwards by hitting forwards, and then you can go back by hitting back. Now, just so you can see what happens when you go all the way back, it smacks, boom. Now here's the negative thing, right? I just crushed it. So you wanna not smash into something because obviously that's gonna cause problems, right? Um, obviously by smashing this in, I no longer have my little thing there. So you want to be very careful when driving it that you don't run into anything. Now, when you are driving it, all you have to do in order to move forwards is actually hit the forwards button. Um, and it'll actually change the direction and everything that the car is going for you. Now, if you're having issues or it gets stuck or something along those lines, it is a very simple solution because you are able to pick up the actual train engine. Now, it's a useful thing, obviously, and then if you're having issues again, you can go ahead and take out the train engine, and then you can use it, the main engine and requires charcoal to run. You just walk over to a section of the track, and then you can actually add the train to that track. Now, train placement is obstructed. You've kind of got to find an actual place where you can actually put this train down, so it's going to give me problems right now. Come on, let me, let me add the train here. Placement is obstructed. What is obstructing it? Interesting. There it goes, okay. It was obstructed for some unknown reason. So you need to put fuel inside of the train in order for it to run. That is charcoal. Charcoal, because it functions as coal, will work just fine. Now, obviously you see me going backwards, see me going forwards. It does take a quick second to slow down. So keep that in mind, right? So as soon as I'm moving forwards, if I go forward and then I tap back, it'll actually halt the train. You need to hit back again to actually move backwards. And then the same thing for going forwards. If you tap backwards and then tap forwards, it'll actually move that forward location for you. What is this? That's interesting. I'm gonna attach the car, I guess. Can I pick this up? That's kind of cool. Okay, so it must have like ballooned to the distance somewhere because the train car just like disappeared. So anyways, you can just hop in the train and then if you want to add a train car, just like you saw me there, we can go ahead and click add cart and then train platform car and it'll automatically attach it to the back side. So that is how you drive the train forwards, backwards. You cannot really steer. The one thing you'll notice is that there is a left option and then a stay on path option. If I hit the left option, it means at a crossroads, it's going to go left. And then if I hit the forwards option or like the stay in the middle option, that's the direction it's going to go. Now, this little car that we just attached to it, right? So this car right here, you only have a few options. You can demolish it, go to cart, detach car, pick up, and then go to engine. What's really cool, you can just teleport to the engine real quick, and then same thing with this guy, you can actually go to the cart. You just have to select the cart that you wanna to go to, and it'll teleport you to the middle of the cart. Another cool thing, right? So these carts can actually carry quite a bit. They cannot fit tech generators, unfortunately, or they can have power generators and those power generators can be used to power chemistry benches which are placeable they can be used refining forges 
or industrial forges, which is super cool because you can essentially use one of these to mine your metal, which is obviously going to be incredibly powerful and save you a ton of time. Now, foundations cannot be placed on here, so you're kind of limited to the amount of space based on the train platform car itself. So all of that is great and all, but you cannot place turrets on it. There is no type of turret that is placeable, so that kind of sucks. However, you can place a large storage crop that will allow you to place a plant species X seed inside of it. So you can have plant species X on side, or I guess on top of a train engine. So that is what you can actually place on these things. You can place coffins, you can place whatever you need to place, which is useful, obviously. They can be used, I can see a lot of useful things such as raiding, such as um, actually uh, resource runs, taming things. You can actually use one of these to tame things and it's a very useful thing overall. So the negative side of this is it's quite expensive to build the actual train track. There are six different options that you have. You've got a connector, a long piece like the single wood track, a two-way split, a two-way merge, and then a three-way overall. So you can see this is also the short version of it. So what you can do is you can actually kind of run along the tracks and it will automatically place this little green indicator to allow you to place down more and more track. Now, what you want to notice is it eventually gets to a point where it goes red like this because it's going into the ground and it won't let you do that. So you've got to get a location that works and I usually can just hover above, right? So I can, so you can see what I'm talking about. Find a location that you can actually get to work and it'll allow you to place train tracks. Oh, there we go. So we're starting to get a little bit of problem here though. Let's so see how this one kind of like goes straight up. The only, oh, there we go. So you can actually kind of get different angles depending on how you look at this thing. Um, if you look to the left, it'll go up and left. And if you look kind of downish, it's gonna go ahead and, come on. Let me, let me, let me, let me see here, buddy. I don't know why it didn't want to let me go down again. There we go. So if you get above it, it'll start to actually like curve down. So you can control depending on where you look, allowing you to place the track in a new location each time. And it does give you some pretty, it's, it's pretty self-intuitive if that makes sense. Now, when you have an issue like this where they're not quite close enough, what you can do is you can place these connectors and these connectors will allow you to actually attach the um, pieces to it, which is obviously going to save you a lot of time. The only negative thing is these connectors won't actually just let you place them. So you can't just like control where they go all over the place. You have to connect them to existing already used tracks. So what I'll do is you can kind of raise it up a little bit to make sure it's not in the ground, just like you would with a normal foundation. And then try and make it as close as you can because it is a little bit picky with what it allows to attach for some reason. I don't know why. It just kind of is that way. So, yeah. But that's how you build the actual track itself. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try and split this track. Come on. No. That's what I was looking for. Let's see if that works. Hmm, I might be a little bit off. It really does want you for some reason to pick up the track and make it as close as possible to... Maybe, maybe this will work, right? We'll try it. There. So, and then let's go ahead and see if we can get the connector piece to work. Uh, it's not going to let me show you guys, but you can use the connector and it does work. You just kind of have to finagle it a little bit sometimes, which is unfortunate. But anyways, now that we've got this set up, we've kind of created ourselves a little bit of a track. Let's hit left to make sure we go left. And then our train is going to go ahead and move on to the left track. Now, obviously, we selected the left, so it's going to go right there. And you'll see it climbs hills just fine. It seems to maintain a constant pace. And then you can kind of just guide the train as you will. That is how the train actually functions. And it's a pretty useful thing. Now, if you wanted to leave a cart, let's say someone is using something, you can actually detach this cart, leave it there to have one of your tribe mates grind a whole bunch of resources and then come back later to it. Or if in the circumstances like I'm in right now, you're trying to find a way for this to actually work, you can kind of take a little bit of time and figure out how to make this thing not break itself. So go ahead and see if I can find a way. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but just so you can see what happens if you pick it up. Yes, it does explode. Now, I only found that out on accident when I was building my first track. I didn't quite know what to do. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Um, which really sucks. So if there is no fixing it. It just explodes, wastes all your resources. So be very careful about picking up track unless your train is completely off of it. 
Another suggestion I have is the higher up you can place this, the better off you are because it is not very good at actually figuring out where it, um, where the ground is. So you've kind of got to like lift up and adjust things for the track itself. It's too high above the ground. So in order to kind of make this work, you've really got to like build it on flat surfaces. If you can avoid hills like I'm doing right now or not doing very successfully, you might say, um, that's the best thing that you can do because when you have these hills, uh, it, it's very difficult to get this train track to actually want to stick like this right here. Obviously, you can see that. Um, but unfortunately, it, it just, it's just a little bit of learning and a little bit of a pain in the butt. But that is how you build everything. You can build this. There is no distance limit. It's not like there's a requirement. You can go an entire map's worth of trains. And I've got a feeling that negatively, we're going to see train tracks all around maps all over the place, which is going to suck. Um, but if you try and keep it in like the little shallow parts of areas, that's going to be your best friend for actually making these train tracks. Now you can do giant circles. You can create merging things that you can create just like you saw this. These two way things, you do not have the option to actually adjust them as here. You just choose by the tracks. You can, from what I have been able to do, make multiple trains on the same track. So I have a feeling people will be able to crash into each other, which is not going to be a good thing, but it can be something that I can see being awesome. I think having trains like this is a super cool thing inside of Arc, and it also lets you autopilot things because you can hit forwards and then just like hop off. To me, that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So anyways, this is how you use trains and what they're used for inside of ARC. And hopefully this video helps you out. Other than that, teach.